Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Sunny, your host. So we will be continuing our OpenAI DALI API playlist. So in our last video, we did the setup of our project and showed a demo of how to generate images from textual descriptions using DALI API. Now in today's video, we are going to take it one step further and show you how to create image variations by passing an input image to the API rather than a text prompt. And you will see with just a few lines of code and an input image, you can generate many variety of new images that are sure to inspire your creativity. So whether you are a developer looking to incorporate the latest AI technology into your projects or an enthusiast interested in exploring the cutting edge of image generation, then this video is for you. So without further ado, let's dive in and learn how to create stunning image variations using the OpenAI DALI API. So let's get started again. And here we have the uh, notebook number two that is about image variations. So here again, I have references for you and the basic uh, imports are already here. So let me select the uh, first of all kernel. So it's going to be default one that is there. And let's, re let's run this. Okay. So uh, before we jump into anything, so here I have input images for which we can create variations. So you can try it your own. So these are the like again generated by Dolly itself. And uh, let's say if I pick this image, okay. And uh, uh, we can, let me copy the path of it or copy the relative path to this. And, uh, and, and we can call it as input image. So here we can define the path for this and it's going to be slightly longer as the name is long and because it contains the uh, prompt as well because of which it got created and it should be, yeah, because we are in the notebook folder. So we have to go one level up and then input into input images. So this will be the correct path to that related to this. Okay. And let me go for a alt Z. So this will create uh, yeah. So here is our input image. Okay. And uh, now what we are going to do is we will use this input image to um, like, first of all, we will read this. Okay. And we will create a variations of it. Okay. So let's call for open and pass this input image and uh, read this as a byte in, and as input file we can call and uh, let's call this our image and uh, it should be uh, input file dot read method so this will read the file and it read successfully and now what we can do is let's say we want to create maybe three variations again and uh, here now what we have to do is open ai's again image class in that we have to go for a create variation okay so in create variation uh, we will again pass the here we will not have any prompt we will have image so where we are going to pass our image and uh, we'll again we will have n value so this is going to be is equals to capital n and then we will have the uh, size value of the size so size is equals to again i told you that right so we we can go for 512 by 512 or 1024 by 1024 or 256 by 256. So these are the like inputs which are available. So, uh, and again, this will give you some sort of outcome. So I will save it into a response variable and, uh, and let's see that. Okay. What response it gives you and let's run this. So it is taking time. Okay. So it got you. So now if you click on each of these, so it should show some variations of that image, mm, somewhat different. Okay. Now let's look into this again. This tilted the face down and this is again, this is some looks slightly better than that. What we have seen previously. And uh, so uh, we can save this image again. And uh, if you want to experiment again with the, any other images, so you can, you can try that. So let's say we can even try with the outcome that we have got. Maybe let's say if I go for any of these variations, so we can try that as well. Okay, let me copy the path of this one and try that again. And let's see that, okay, what kind of variations it can create of that image. Or, or maybe uh, since it's an image of a person, so why not to try with the some other images? Let me, because it's an experiment, right? So you can experiment with the, any of the images that you want. So uh, maybe we can try with this image. So let's say copy the path of this one and we can paste it here and you can see that it is this is also generated from dolly itself and uh, let me now run this read this image and then again let's try this 
see the variations of it okay so we have got this so we can see that car has changed its places to some some place other and here again this is again this is different yes so this is this looks promising right so you can see the different variation of the same image right so uh, we will save this and uh, now to, in order to save this we can simply go back to the previous code and we will just borrow the same code from there and we will do some minor changes and it will and we are done so let's paste this and uh, we will be saving it to the outcome only and here it will be a mustang car so let's call this as a mustang and then index will be saved as by the same name uh index it, it will be varying with that is with respect to index since we have created three images it will be saving three images and i don't see that there is any other thing that is required to be changed here rest of the code can be used as it is so let's run this okay so this works now let's go back again and see so yes all the images are saved so in this way you can generate the images variations of an image okay you have to pass an image and you can just get the outcome okay let's say you can increase the number of variations if you want right now i'm just giving a demo for the three one for the three value so uh that's it for this demo i hope you have learned something new here and uh, in the next demo we will look into the image edits okay where you will pass the mask and uh, uh, and the prompt as well so see you all in the next tutorial till then keep on learning keep on exploring thank you mm -hmm.